Welcome to this demo and tutorial of TPCDS by Spark, a workload generator written in Python and designed to run at scale using Apache Spark. I am Luca Canali, the author of the tool. What you see here is the URL with the project home where you can find the code, examples and documentation. Something about the motivation of this tool. This is about performance and learning about it. So you can run a workload that is well known, so the TPCDS benchmark consisting of about 100 queries of all up type, and you can run it scaling up from small amount of data or just a few gigabytes to uh, tens of terabytes. And doing that, you can use it to learn how Spark performs, you can use it to uh, monitor Spark using the web UI and also using custom tools. In particular, Spark measure is integrated with TPCDS by Spark, and we will see this will give us a performance metrics coming from Spark. Another tool that you can use is Spark Dashboard. All are linked in the comments of this video. So what we want to do in this short video is just to go through some getting started examples. In particular, we will use a GitHub code spaces to, uh, to run the demos. So you just click on this uh, black button and you will get to the resources. I've already done that in the interest of saving time. So what we need to do is to scroll down to the instructions. So the installation and configuration is already done. So Spark is installed, Spark measure, and TPCDS by Spark, the package that we're going to see now. And then uh, we need data. So we start with TPCDS at scale 10 gigabyte. When it's zipped, it's about three gigabytes that you can download from this URL and unzip it. Next, we run the tool. So TPCDS by Spark run.py pointing it to the data, and we only run two queries of the benchmark. There are about 100 queries in the full benchmark. And we only run them once, because normally the, this tool will run them uh, three times, and then we run the workload a couple of times. So we open the Spark Web UI, so you can see also on the Spark site what is happening. So. Uh, Temporary tables are being mapped and queries are being executed. For example, this is the query one of the benchmark. So let's go back to the execution. So query one is finished and took about nine seconds. Query two is running. Okay, now it's finished. So let's see the output. After the uh, benchmark run is finished, we get some summary on what has happened. So we only ran two queries and we use Spark 351 and then we get details of the uh, queries executions. And here you get the first important point about TPCDS by Spark. So we don't just get the time that it took to run the queries, but we get a whole list of metrics. These come ultimately from Spark and they are collected via Spark measure that is integrated with this tool. And we get metrics like executor CPU time, executor runtime, Java uh, garbage collection time, and then shuffle time, etc. Then these metrics are also grouped per query in case you execute the queries multiple times, like is the case normally. And then we get also a fully aggregated metrics. For example, we can see the full amount of uh, runtime and CPU time that took to run the, the benchmarks. And then we can see the average active tasks was only one because indeed we don't have many resources in this, uh, in this platform. Okay, so the next, uh, the next point uh, would be to run this uh, fully. So you can see here, if we run with this is tpcds spy spark run.py minus d and the directory where we have the data, it will run the full benchmark. So the whole 100 queries, three times per query and twice, um, and then average everything. So instead of doing that, um, I would like to move on and uh, run these workloads on uh, Jupyter Lab. So notebooks are quite important these days and they offer a really good environment to run workloads and they can be used also on cloud resources. So while this is starting up, maybe we can go through some uh, details like the fact that you can run this demo at a higher scale. For example, you can run on um, Hadoop cluster or on Spark on Kubernetes, there you will need to move to using Spark Submit. The syntax is, is highlighted here, for example, and this allows you to scale out, which is 
probably what you want to do if you're studying Spark performance. You can also use uh, data sets that are larger. For example, I provide for download a data set of the uh, TPCDS 100 gigabyte scale. You can go higher than that, but then I suggest you create a data set with the instructions that are also linked in uh, this notebook. Then another thing that you can uh, do is to understand a little bit more about the Spark metrics instrumentation. So I liked here a few key metrics, elapsed time being the time taken to complete a certain operation, then executor runtime, so how much runtime was, uh, was spent by the tasks run by the executors, the CPU time, garbage collection time, shuffle metrics, IO metrics, uh, there are some read and write metrics, but there is no uh, IO time at the moment. Okay, let's go back to our notebook. Here we can run the workload, so the installation is already done, data has already been downloaded. So what we need to do is to use TPCDS by Spark programmatically, so we just import it, and then we initialize it, pointing it to the data, and then the parameters of execution. In this case, we just limit ourselves to running two queries, like in the previous case. Then we need to map the tables, so from the folders, uh, we create temporary tables. It was taken care of by the command line that we ran before and now we are executing the steps one by one. So then it's about running a TPCDS demo. So we are running the query one and two with TPCDS data scale 10G and we run it two times. And, and then we will be able to print the test results when this is finished. So the query is running and it takes just a few seconds each. So you can see we get some of the key metrics are reported during the execution. Then at the very end, we get the summary of all those. So the next step will be to run print test results, which will be similar to what we have seen earlier on. So we have a summary of what has happened. So we ran two queries, two runs, three times. We use Spark 351. These are the, all the details of the queries that have been executed and all the metrics that have been collected. Then for each query, we get the median matrix values and the full aggregation of, of all the queries that have been run. So then we can use this data for uh, some additional analysis of what has happened. So for this, we'll use pandas. So in case we, have, we had saved the data, we could also read them back into our notebook. In our case, we have them already. And then from the pandas, we can, uh, we can write some plots. For example, here we can see the runtime and the CPU time per query. The difference between the two is the I.O. time, which is not instrumented. There is, of course, much more that we can do in terms of analysis. For this, I would like to point you to this notebook that is using data collected from TPCDS run a scale 10,000 gigabytes. And then the, the data is provided in the repository as CSV files that can be loaded up and analyzed. Some analysis are already provided in the notebook. For example, they, there's this graph that tells us how many cores were used on average and how long the, the queries took. So here are the queries that, that took more than 100 seconds. Some of them we can see have an average number of active tasks that is quite low, it's about 50, even though 256 cores were allocated for this job. Only 50 on average were used for this query, Q24A. 
and the query took 600 seconds. So it's something we may want to investigate. Indeed, looking at the queries, we can see that it has a long tail where the execution goes down to a low amount of, uh, of tasks uh, simultaneously executed. Okay, so this concludes our uh, demo here. I would like to point again to the repository. There is a lot of information that you can get there. Uh, for example, you can see uh, something about the TPCDS schema and queries if you're not familiar with it. And you can see examples on how you can run on a cluster, for example, YAML or Spark on Kubernetes. And with this, I would like to thank you for following this demo. And I would like to wish you good luck with your Spark jobs. And we're using TPCDS by Spark, Spark Measure and Spark Dashboard. Numbers come and come Gonna break it all down Break it down for you Metrics up, woo! Systems on Try to test the strength What it's dealing with Testing cause and ram Got the data span Push it to the score